Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Sony is getting ready to launch a brand new service that's going to compete directly with Xbox Game Pass. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Bloomberg here was the one who first broke this news. I'll drop a link to their article in the description below and I highly recommend checking it out. Now, Bloomberg has been hit and miss when it comes to rumors here. Some of them turn out and some of them don't. Based on the information I've seen though, this looks like the real deal. Most of you should be familiar with Xbox Game Pass. If you're not, I've done a few videos on it and I'll drop one in the description below. I highly recommend checking it out. At a really high level here, Xbox Game Pass lets you download, install, and play a bunch of different games from their library for one monthly fee. It also gives you discounts to their store, and this works for Xbox, it works for PC, it also works for cloud gaming. Game Pass has three different pricing options, console for 10 bucks a month, PC for 10 bucks a month, and ultimate for 15 bucks a month. The difference between the three, console just lets you play these games on console, PC just lets you play the games on PC. And Ultimate here lets you play the games on console, PC, and also lets you stream them to a mobile device. Now, PlayStation plans on launching an extremely similar service currently codenamed Spartacus. This name probably isn't going to stick. With Spartacus, they plan on merging PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus into one service, and it's speculated that the name is going to be PlayStation Plus moving forward. It's also been reported that PlayStation will have three different pricing tiers. The low tier here, the cheapest option, will just be a continuous of PlayStation Plus. The mid-tier here, the I guess the middle ground in terms of pricing, will be PlayStation Plus plus uh, PS4 and PS5 games that you can download, install, and play on your device. And the top tier here, the most expensive option, you get PlayStation Plus, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games that you can download, install, and play as well as PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Portable games. I don't see PlayStation Vita on there. It's not getting a lot of love these days. It'll also get you exclusive demos as well as game streaming. It's also been rumored that this service will be available for both PS5 and PS4 consoles, but I really wouldn't get my hopes up about playing PS5 exclusives on that PS4. There might be a bit of a hardware limitation there. And speaking about hardware limitations, we currently don't know how the PS1, PS2, PS3, or PSP games are gonna play on either of these systems whether it's gonna be through emulation or game streaming. If it's through game streaming, I'm not gonna be that excited about this service. On one hand here, yes, it'll be awesome to have access to those old games, but on the other hand here, game streaming really isn't there just yet. The mid-tier option might be the most attractive option out of all of them. At the end of the day here, I'm really curious to see what those final prices are and what the final service actually offers. On top of that, it's said they plan on launching this in spring of 2022, so not too far down the road. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts on this new service in the comments below. Do you think it's gonna stay as Spartacus? Do you think it's gonna get a better name than that? Or do you think it's gonna stay as PlayStation Plus? Also, what tier would you be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.